Born as loyal sons of Sparta, the two brothers trained and dreamt of one day joining the ranks of the great Spartan army. But that never was to be. On an ill-fated day, Deimos was taken under the eyes of his brother Kratos, the brother who had vowed to always protect him. This single event would forever change the course of Kratos' life. His destiny, his cursed fate, had been set in motion. The loss of his brother would leave an indelible mark on him. A memory he could not forget. As he vowed never to falter again, Kratos adorned a red tattoo on his body in honor of Deimos. A tattoo in the very image of his brother's birthmark. This tattoo would become a somber reminder for the man who would become a god. The warrior known as the Ghost of Sparta. They came to retrieve the marked warrior. A mark they saw on the body of Deimos. As he was taken away in front of his brother's eyes, little did he know of the fate that awaited him. Ares would bring him to the domain of death, realm of Thanatos, a place no mortal had ever dared set foot. There he would remain imprisoned with no hope of escape. He would suffer years of punishment and torment at the hands of the God of Death. At first, the belief that his brother Kratos would come to save him kept him alive. But as the years lapsed, Deimos lost all semblance of hope and with it any thread of humanity left in him. The anger, the vengeance seethed within him and lay dormant for decades. With little sanity left, it was this rage that made him endure, believing the day would come when he would once again face the brother who abandoned him. He feared nothing, but there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold, never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Ares. You will die for what you did that night. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how? Oh. They were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. 
You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. <laughs>